All right, guys. So I'm going to do my um, baked beans. Half of them are going to be done with navy beans or great northern beans, whatever. And uh, half are going to be done with pintos. Hope I don't make a mess. So I'm going to put about this. Is, these are half gallon. These are half gallon uh, jars. I'm going to put almost half. That's not quite half, but I only got this much more to go. Um, I'm going to go with half. Well, you know what? I'll just do the rest of it. I'll do the rest of it. And then I'll put some water in there. Um, but first I'm going to go through here and pour them out into a bowl and check and make sure there's no stones because uh, that happens quite a bit. And then I see one here that's split, so I won't use it. Let me see, let's split. So I'm not gonna use it either, but um, I'm gonna go through here and empty them into a bowl and then put them in this one as I see that they're fit to be used. And then when I get done with that, I'll start on the pintos on this side and I'll fill them up with water. All right, so basically, there's a couple broken ones there. I'm just gonna, I'm real picky, so let's just take the broken ones out. Put them in a little pile. Another broken one. These all look good though. I don't see any stones. Just a couple broken ones here and there. And I don't think it's gonna hurt you to eat the broken ones, but I'm just picky. So anyway, I'm gonna go all the way through these. And uh, it's a little teeny one. And uh, make sure there's no stones. Put them in my jar, like so. And I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, I'm down to the last part. Um, you kind of gotta, when you have to get them in the plate, you kind of gotta push them around a little bit. And sometimes the ones that are in halves will roll over and you can get them out, but. Sometimes just to look at them like they are, you wouldn't think there's a half in there, but you kind of got to roll them around a little bit and uh, check it out, and you'll find several. And you could put the halves in there. Don't get me wrong. You can definitely do that. But for canning, um, I want everything to look nice in my jars. And, uh, you know, if I was making a pot of beans, though, just on the stove, I'd probably just leave them in there. But anyway, that's that. Okay. All right, I think that looks good. Kind of just shake it with my hands when they go in there. But if you don't keep your hands out to the side like this, then they will uh, be all over your counter for sure. Okay, got all that in it. All right, guys, I'm starting on the Pintos. This is a eight pound bag. I got about half of it left. So um, we go through Pintos a lot. I love Mexican food, and um, <laughs> I'm always eat, making uh, some kind of a refried beans or something, so I'm going to go through these two, just like the other one, so um, get out the ones that are split, so I'm not quite sure. I'm not a big pork and beans or baked beans girl. I like them, but i got to be in the mood for it, you know. Um, hubby loves them absolutely loves them and he always wants to have it in the summer while we're grilling out and so i'm going to make some baked beans and then i'm going to continue on and do some more pintos for another project so um i'll do it in two videos though because that's a lot as max actually i'm going to do two videos of the pork and beans because maybe three because i have two, three different recipes so um <laughs> I'm going to do it that way. And that way you guys can decide which one you might like and do it the way you want. So that's my plan and I'm gonna to stick to it. Okay, I don't see any more that are broken. That one is, okay. I thought it was laying funny. I thought it was laying funny. I don't see any rocks either. This looks like a weird one though, but it's just the color. Okay, so. Do it again. 
I'm probably going to fill this jar up as much as I did the other jar. Because um, like I said, we go through a lot of pintos anyway. So um, I'm going to make a bunch of baked beans. So I don't have to worry about this through the year. And I'm always working late. And Kane can just go out and throw some brats on the grill. See this one? I don't even know what the heck that is. It might be a bean. It might be something else. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm always working late. And he can just go throw some of these in a pan on the grill and a couple brats and um, he'll have dinner. He'll be happy with that. I mean, he don't even care about sides usually. I'm always like, I need a vegetable. I need a vegetable. I think he gets aggravated with me about it, but I'm a veggie girl. I just got to have my veggies. So, all right. There's another one. You gotta kind of flip them, honey. You gotta go like this. You know, see, there's another one. If you don't move them around, some of them just lay upside down like that, and you can't even tell that they're split. So, move them a little bit. There's one that's broken. I don't see any rocks, pebbles anywhere, though. Um, it looks good. So, I think we're gonna go with that. And like I said, just make sure your hands are up on the side really good, or it's going to go all over the counter. Oops, I didn't have it back far enough. I'm making a mess. I should have just used my funnel, y'all. That's all right. There we go. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, that's the last of the Pintos. So I'm going to get um, my big pan out, my big pot, because these guys are going to swell up so much. It's crazy. And I decided to go ahead and um, put the water in for sure at six because these beans have been sitting for a little bit and I, I know they're dry. So, but I'm going to make sure they get really hydrated before I start canning them. And if you can see right here, this is... The beans I got out of the pintos, the split ones. As I put water in there, though, um, the ones that are broken like that, they'll come to the top probably, so I can get them out then. All right, guys. I put all the pintos in here, and they got a bunch of water on top of them. This big old pot here. And then I put the navy beans, or northern beans, in these jars like this. I'm going to mark these jars, so I'm going to show you just how much th these expand, okay? So this one is to about right here. This one, about right there. This one, about right there. So I will show you how much they expand, just so you have an idea. Uh, this is also why I don't do uh, canning, like throwing dry beans in a jar and can that way. I just don't want to do that. I think they need more room. I don't like opening up a jar and having them packed in there like that. So... This is what we're going to do. We're just going to see exactly what we come up with. See? This one's kind of lower on the other side. That's why I kind of just made it right there. It's still at the top of that thing, but it is lower on the other side. Kind of swish them around. This one's higher, too, on this side than the back side, but that's okay. We'll see what it's like. All right, guys, that's how much they have risen. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the line. They have more than doubled. So keep that in mind when you're canning because it doesn't make a big difference. Okay guys, so that is how you get beans ready to pressure can. Um, although I didn't pressure can any of those beans because I got a phone call and uh, my sister said, hey, I'm leaving for Florida in the morning. You want to go? And I'm like, yeah, I think I do. So I said, let me make a couple phone calls myself and see if I can get everything covered and then I'll get back to you. So I made my phone calls to my other sister and she took care of everything for me. And I called my daughters and said, I'll leave in town. I'm going to be back in about a week or so or whenever I show back up. So <laughs> we took off in the morning at 6 o'clock. And we got to Florida about 7. And uh, we've been having fun. I've been visiting with my niece and her kids. And we've been having a ball. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know. If, when you get the chance, you guys, you got to grab it. you got to have fun and live your life. So I'm doing just that. And I, even though I left you all hanging on the rest of the video, I will be back and I'll finish it. So Hope you guys have a great week. I wanted to let you know it was 46 back home. And uh, before we even got here, it was uh, 85. And I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs>
Hallelujah. So you can't really blame me, right? So I'll be back and we'll do those three videos on the different kinds of baked beans and uh, we'll get them done. So you guys take care. Bye.